Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Fox's Need to Eat. Now this was developed and published by Yumi Game Studio. Uh, its price is £4.19 slash $4.99 and is a pretty fun little platformer. So it's literally a case of avoid spikes, avoid fire, get to the apple, don't die and Everybody a winner. Now, as for achievements again, just like in previous entries that I've put on the channel, um, with they again, effectively very easy. We've got a list of 10 achievements where we need to complete all levels up to level 60. So that's every single level in the game. Um, eat one apple and then finish the game. So yeah, it's literally a case of everything is completely unmissable. Now, I won't be talking through the whole video, uh, literally because um, quite a lot of these levels are pretty self-explanatory, they're quite easy enough to do on their own. Um, some new mechanics and everything later on, I will pop my beautiful little head in and just, just to, you know, give you a little little tip, little tip and trick. Uh, but there only was one level in the whole game that gave me any problems, which was level 54. So anyway, as we begin, um, obviously the, aim, the main aim of the game is to just get the apple. Now what you can do, if you find yourself a bit stuck, you can actually go across through the screen to the other side. So if we start heading left, you're going to go onto the right side of the screen. So all these little mechanics are quite easy to get used to, um, but again, your aim is to get the apple. So again, we'll go left to go to the right side of the screen. We can also drop down in order to come from the top of the screen. <gasps> Clever. So obviously we're going to be playing with this uh, quite a lot throughout the majority of the game. Um, so you can't actually die from falling or anything like that, but you can from spikes and stuff when we get introduced to them. So for now, for the first sort of couple of levels here, it's literally a case of pressing A to jump, pressing A to jump, going left, going right and up and down. So the next level is where we're going to find the first, if you want to call it, enemy. It's basically a swinging ball. So obviously a lot of this is to do with timing, um, which obviously does get a little bit more intense as we crack on with the levels. Um, now, there's a couple of people saying that they could do this in 10 to 15 minutes. Potentially, yes, but the majority is you're probably going to be looking at sort of 20 to 25 minutes, maybe up to 30. So, you know, when you see it like, oh, you can do it in, yeah, 1,000 Gs in 15 minutes. Take that with a pinch of salt. Um, because it took me 36 minutes, to, and that was with a lot of deaths as well. So keep that one in mind. Um, the fire doesn't get introduced until quite a lot later. So for now, we're just sticking with one spiky boy and just getting used to the timing mechanics. <laughs> So the next thing that we're going to be not worrying about, but what we have to do. So when we jump over to the right, so we need to jump over to the right. If you just walk to the right, as you can see, I went straight down onto the spikes and spiked me straight in the old fox bars. So you actually need to jump up. But again, that requires you to have a look at the left side of the screen and make sure that the timing's spot on. So if there's a ledge that you need to get to the other side, you have to jump over it. So that is another thing that we will be dealing with for the rest of the majority of the game as well. So it's always better to jump than it is to walk over the other side of the screen. Boing. Boing. 
So level 26 looks like it could be quite tricky, but all you can do is literally just drop down to the left and that's it. Yeah boy! So level 20 is going to have the first um, fire piece, so what we can do is drop down and then you have to time it, so literally it takes a, f a couple of seconds, it will be about two or three seconds, and as you can see, it'll go to the other side, and then it'll keep doing that, which, if you're tr only focusing on the fire, yeah, that's great, but you've also got to focus on the spiky balls as well, so again, a little later on, it does get quite, uh, a little bit intense with some of the fire, again, especially level 54, which pissed me off! Oink. 
So here we are then, level 54, my most hated level. So the, again, obviously you've been used to it by now, but you still got to completely get used to the timing. So what I did was literally count to two and then jump, and that should give you enough time then in order to uh, obviously make it through to the other side. It can be slightly tricky to get the timing down, but once you get used to it, it gets easy. This part at the top there here also gave me a bit of trouble, purely because you can't see where you can jump. So you can't just jump across. You've got to, um, because for some reason, if you jump all the way, it slows you down a bit, which which was weird. So, yeah, hopefully you can get past level 54 a lot quicker than I did. And one more little enemy that we have to deal with here. It's this big spiky boy. Now, all you got to do is just go near him. He'll drop. And then that's about it. So, obviously, don't touch him because spikes and stuff. Spikes hurt. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> 
So level 59, it's not too bad this one. So obviously we're going to do the normal timing jumps. Just go close to spiky boys right here. But it is the top one with the timing. Now, uh, as you'll be able to see, I'm going to be a little bit hesitant. But what you just have to do is literally, as soon as you see the gap, just make a break for it. So around, around now. So that's when you make the break for it. Again, I got a little bit hesitant right there. Um, but as soon as you can, just make an absolute break for it, rather than be just a little hesitant. Anyway, you've got one level left now. Hooray! And again, it looks very intense, looks a bit complicated. It's not so bad. And there it is, the end of the game, 60 levels completed, and that is another easy 1000 out of 1000 for you guys. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope you enjoyed the guide as well, and if it helped the course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend as well, as always. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members, so thank you so much to everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Big love! <laughs>